school. I got really good grades. I was, you know, an honor student. I, I guess I really never thought about it until I got older and how much it affected me. I ended up getting drunk on my first drink, which, you know, they say that's a sign that, you know, of, of worse things to come. I kept pretty, pretty sober. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it or anything. I did, I did drink a lot, but it wasn't as, you know, it wasn't anything near what the last 10 years looked like. I was believing that I was worthless because all my parents told me I was worthless, so I, I probably am worthless because I can't juggle home and fam home and family and and working. I was drinking all the time, losing jobs. I was um, basically not around for anybody. I was broken when I came here. I, I didn't have anything left. I didn't have no life left in me. I almost died before I came here. I, I had a breathing tube. I had a, um, I couldn't walk because of the neuropathy in my legs and just all my health conditions were just, I, I was deteriorating. I looked up at the ceiling and I said, oh God, this has got to stop. to show my true colors, you know, a kind, empathetic, compassionate, caring person. And those are the things I always had when I was sober, but didn't have when I wasn't feeling good about myself. What happened in the past is no longer. We deal with the past and then we let it go. And I've let go of my past. Getting me out of near death into the person that I am today. T today I don't set my feet on the ground without saying a prayer before I get up out of the bed. And everything just started to fall into place for me. I started opening up and talking and, you know, being a part of a group instead of, you know, isolating myself in my room because that's what I did for so many years was isolate myself. I never thought I could be happy with who I am. I'm very grateful that I that I come here and that I'm still here and I have amazing things ahead of me all because of God. I can't give God enough glory for everything that he's done for.